lifestyle. Today I'm showing you something so simple and easy. It's how to cook a jacket potato. I know it seems really obvious, but I've got the Ninja 15 in one, which I absolutely love. It's so versatile. What I want you to do today was sort of do a bit of a test. You may have already seen one of my short videos which was just showing you how to air fry a jacket potato and that works really well and I microwaved it then I popped it in onto the air fry setting. But today what I want to do is just test them out so that we can see which is better. So the first one I'm going to pressure cook and then we're going to air fry it just to crisp up the outside and I want to kind of compare the texture. This one, we're just simply gonna air fry, I'm not gonna add any oil, no seasonings. So we're keeping this really simple and really fair. But I just kind of thought it would be fun to find out which method is best. So let's start by doing the pressure cooked jacket potato. Just like this. You can do this with a knife if you prefer, but I've got a fork. I've got some water that I've measured out here. So that is around a cup, which is 300 milliliters. Just gonna pop the water into the bottom. And let's close that lid. We want to slide that all the way over so that we've got our pressure cook options. And I actually want a quick release. So I'm just gonna turn, whoops, turn that down. So quick release, we want it on high and we're gonna do this for 15 minutes. I've tested this out and this is the perfect time for me because it makes it tender, which is how we want it. And then we can air fry it to finish it. Just need to make sure that the vent is on seal. Now let's go. Okay, so just a few seconds left now. One, finished. Oh, it made me jump. <laughs> that was nice and quick. Now let's move that over. That probably only took a minute. And then let's open that up. Mind the steam, it's very, very hot. And there is our potato. Okay, so let's scoop that out of there onto the plate. You can see that this is nicely tender. When I put my knife in there, it's still a little bit firm in the middle, which is what we want because we're gonna finish this by air frying. I've removed the basket and now we just need to get rid of the liquid because we can't air fry while that's in there. So we're gonna go and empty that and then I'll show you what to do next. Great, potato is now back in, so lid down. And then we're gonna change this to air fry. And I'm gonna pop that on for 15 minutes. So total cooking time, we're giving this half an hour. We will check if this is done enough. Let's go for it. So I put that on air fry for 15 minutes and it wasn't quite as tender as I wanted it. So I put it back in for another five and we'll see what it's like. We gave it that bit more time and that is now absolutely perfect inside. It looks nice and fluffy and it's really, really crispy, which is exactly how I love my skin. Ordinarily, I'd have some oil and salt on the skin, but as I told you earlier, for testing purposes, we wanna keep them plain and simple so we can compare. Make this a fair test. I thought while this is still warm, I should really cut a piece off and try this and then do the same with the other one because if this one's cooled down, the texture's just not gonna be the same, is it? So let's cut a piece off the end. Now let's give this a try and see what we think about the texture of this. The potato literally melted in my mouth. Maybe that's the pressure cooking that made it like that. And the skin is so crispy. Obviously it doesn't have loads of flavor because we haven't added some oil or some salt, but it has a potato skin flavor. I'm gonna go in with the other piece. Let's try a bit more. So good. Let's wait for the other one and I will tell you my opinion on which one I think is better. So far, that potato melting in my mouth like that is a winner. Now let's go with potato number two and we're purely gonna air fry. So that one took 35 minutes total. So 15 minutes pressure cook, then 20 minutes air fry. I'm gonna say this is gonna take around 40 minutes, I'm thinking, in the Ninja. Um, but yeah, let's, let's put it in for 30 and we'll give it a test. And if it's not done, then we'll go with the, the extra 10 that I think it's gonna need. 
still much quicker than putting this in the oven. Potato of this size, I've weighed it actually, it was 265 grams. It's gonna take a good hour minimum in the oven. So we're still saving time by using our Ninja. So let's get this on to air fry. We're gonna start with the 30 minutes, let's go. And we are thinking this is probably not gonna be cooked enough. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's still firm in the middle. Not too bad, let's just turn that over a little bit. Yeah, that's still quite firm. Okay, let's go with another 10. So there's gonna be 40 minutes. Right, let's check this one out. Okay, so let's have a look here what the difference is with this one. Feels like it's got a slightly sort of almost thicker skin to it. And it's a bit crunchier and crispier, the skin. Nice and soft inside. And we're gonna cut the end off again and give it a bit of a taste test. So now it's the moment of truth and let's try the air fried jacket potato. Okay, let's give this a go. The skin's a bit chewier, I think. It's really nice still. I think for me, the one that was pressure cooked, the potato just literally melted in my mouth. The skin is definitely chewier and a bit thicker. I think the intense heat of air frying has given that more of a crust around the potato. For me, pressure cooking is definitely the way forward. So 15 minutes on pressure cook, quick release, and then get it in the air fire for 20 minutes to finish it off. Perfect. I really hope you found this video useful. And if you did, I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button below. And also, if you did like it, then hit the like button because it really does help my channel so much. And I will see you next time for another video.